My name is Jeffrey Kennedy and welcome to Elliott Wave Junctures. Today we're going to examine the Elliott Wave guideline of wave equality. The guideline is simple in that, for example, with uh, motive waves, within waves 1, 3, and 5, two of those waves tend toward equality. For example, if wave 1 is the extended move, then waves 3 and 5 will tend toward equality. If wave 3 is the extended wave, which is most often the case in the equity markets, then waves 1 and 5 will tend toward equality. If you're examining, say, a commodity where fifth waves are likely the extended wave, then still waves 1 and 3 tend toward equality. That's the Elliott Wave Guideline concerning wave equality um, and motive waves. The guideline is also applicable to corrective wave patterns. This is why very often in futures junctures I'll say that the most common relationship between wave C and wave A is equality. This is where it comes from actually. The same is true for the flat correction as well. What I've done today is put a few examples together to show you just this guideline in action. Here's a five wave move to the downside, waves one, two, three, four, and five. And notice that wave five and wave one tend toward equality. At 11.81, that's where wave 5 equals the uh, distance traveled in wave 1, and notice that the actual low is only 11.94, just a few pennies away. Here's another example, and this is actually a good example here. This is Pulte Group, ticker symbol PHM, and we actually have a five-wave move working up from the late 2011 low, waves 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of 3, then a pull back in 4, and then one more push up to wave 5. Well, within wave 3, wave 5 equals the distance traveled or the length traveled in wave 1 at 9.6. That's where it was. Well, look how far we went. We went to 9.69, 9 pennies above it, and then came back decisively in that fourth wave. If you look at this larger structure here, wave 5 and wave 1 uh, equal at 1040. We pushed up to 1082, a bit above, but again, that was an intraday move. The actual close was much closer to that 1040 target. Now let's look at a few examples of wave equality, the guideline of wave equality within corrective wave patterns. Here's a simple zigzag, five up in wave A, followed by a three wave move down in B, followed by another five wave structure in wave C. At uh, wave C equals the distance traveled in wave A at 73.57. Notice that prices pushed up to 74.15 and then reversed dramatically. This is a daily price chart. Here's a price chart of OJ. This is a commodity I follow. And here we have an A triangle BC formation, but at 131.75, uh, that's where wave C equals the distance traveled in wave A. Notice what happened in price. We went right up to 131.55, very near our target, and reversed dramatically. This is where I like, to, again, the, the, the guideline of wave equality, what it allows you to do. It allows you to identify price objectives for waves, i.e., for example, say wave C and wave 5, but also it allows you or assists you in identifying where prices should move to and then reverse from. For example, if this is indeed a fourth wave move in OJ, this was a great area to actually look for this termination of the, tr uh, the short-term trend and the resumption of the long-term trend. I have one more example here, and this is a 120-minute price chart of the E-mini S&P. We have a, a zigzag working here, 5, 3, 5. This was an ending diagonal, but notice where wave C equaled the distance traveled in wave A at 1326.5. The S&P E-mini went up to 1327.7.